G'day YouTube, it's Steve from Vintage Restorations Australia here. Today we have a look at day four of the electric Land Rover conversion. We've finished stripping the body off, get back to the chassis and start the cleaning process. So here we are on uh, day four, so um, we'll just basically keep stripping this down and start cleaning up the chassis. Lubrication is the answer to getting all this stuff off. Proudly sponsored by WD-40. Oh, it's gunky. Years of grease build up. Here we're down under the back of the uh, gearbox here. Just undoing the nuts for the bell housing yeah. and you can see the amount of crap and crud that builds up on these it uh, makes it a little bit harder but if you spray adequately with WD-40 you'll get into it are you dropping off the prop shaft there Steve? yeah the front one just to get to the bell housing bolts just to nuts yeah. look at that this front drive shaft is Oh, so you're just going to jack it up. Starter motor out, car be disconnected, all the wiring disconnected, the coils off, fuel's all disconnected, so we're ready to pull the pull the motor out. Take two. Smoko. Smoko, right. Red dog. Is it Smoko? It's always Smoko red dog. So that turns alright, Steve? Yep, that turn is good. We have rotation. That came out easy enough, Steve. It did, didn't it? That was a good Upgraded the Ford to a Land Rover motor. So we've basically stripped this one back to the chassis today. Uh, now we're just degreasing and giving it a bit of a water blast. Get the uh, mud and dust and grunge and loose stuff off it. This rear cross member has got a bit of corrosion as we uh, showed last week, so that'll have to be replaced. We'll get that ordered and uh, see how long it takes to get here from the UK. Uh, 
that as a replacement is about $380 shipped so that's Australian dollars um, from from the UK and it's a simple cut it off or lawn kind of repair so that's not too bad and then we've just got to clean up the chassis get it painted and things and a bit of corrosion prevention on the interior of it uh, it's kind of important because these do corrode from the inside out um, but we've we've had a bit of a whack test of this and it's come up quite good it's a reasonably solid straight chassis so it's kind of good the end of day four we kind of got back to where we were at the end of day two really we've gone full circle but this is a much better chassis although it took us two days to strip this back we've got lots of parts and things as you can see here the firewalls there's other parts and things up there that we can now utilize to build one good one out of two not so good ones uh, but this chassis is uh, a significant improvement on the on the first one uh, which just required a little bit too much work a few too many dollars to get it back is that a good day red dog don't care do you so that's it for today folks we kind of covered a bit of uh, the same ground stripping the second chassis a bit groundhog day again i know uh, but tune in next week where we'll start to make a bit of new progress and cover some new territory. See you then. Mm -hmm.